Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can extend your language range. Um, this is a video mostly aimed at B2 students and above. If you are under B2 and you want to watch, of course you are welcome, um, but this is really targeted at um, upper intermediate and beyond. Now, you're going to hear me referring to exams quite a lot in this video. Um, the method that I'm going to explain works equally well for general English or conversation classes. Um, so please don't feel that this is a video only for exam students. So extending language range is something which most of my high level students really struggle with. I think as we learn language, we, we reach a level where we can more or less say what we want to say we've got vocabulary that works, we've got grammar structures that work, and then that's okay, right? It's, it's okay, we can function, we can survive. Now, when it comes to taking an exam like CAE or CPE or IELTS, um, you need to be, you need to have a really wide range of language in your speaking. And it's very difficult, even for C2 level students, to really push through this kind of barrier. So I'm going to share a technique with you, um, a practice technique to help you do just that. So the first thing you need to do is to find yourself a speaking task. If you are working for an exam, um, take a solo part of your exam. So IELTS Part 2, FCE and CAE Picture Task, or CPE Long Term. If you are not working for an exam, just pick a topic, any topic, it doesn't matter. And maybe aim to talk about your topic for two minutes. That's going to be fine. Once you have your speaking task, you need to choose one language area to focus on. Please do not try and work on multiple things all at the same time. Choose one, say for example, future forms, um, or discourse markers, or past um, passives, whatever it is, just one focus. Then record yourself doing the task, okay? Get your smartphone and just make a voice recording. You don't have to make a video. Listen back to this recording and again, Although you, you know, you will probably notice more than one thing that you don't like, but keep your attention on the language you chose to focus on. So those future forms, those discourse markers, the, the past passives, that's what you are trying to improve. Forget the other mistakes. Now, listen give yourself a bit of feedback and then you need to think, okay, how, how can I improve this? What can I do with this bit of language that I'm focusing on to expand it? So if you chose future forms, for example, maybe you realize that you only used will and going to, and there's nothing wrong with will and going to, but Really, you know, by C1, C2, particularly for exams, you need to be using future continuous, future perfect, future passives, you know, all that kind of stuff. So really think to yourself, okay, how can I expand this? What can I do to expand? Choose something and do the task again. Record it again. Listen again and then choose another thing that you can do to expand. So you basically just repeat the same task multiple times with the same language focus, but each time you're looking to slightly expand your range. And at some point you're going to think, okay, I've had enough of this. So then you should stop and go and take a break, do something different. When you're ready, come back Choose another speaking task, but choose one that is going to allow you to practice the same structures. So again, with the future forms, um, 
don't come back and do a task about childhood memory because that's not going to really help you practice future forms. And then just see what is the difference between this second task and the first time I did my first task. What has changed? Now, you are going to, if you really want to expand your language range, you are probably going to have to do this multiple times over a period of several months. So this is absolutely not about beating yourself up, criticising yourself and using voice recordings to hit yourself over the head. This is about you empowering yourself to make positive change in your spoken language. And if you do this consistently over enough time, your language range is going to expand. My name is Sarah. I am an English teacher and language anxiety coach. I help people overcome their fear of speaking and using English. Thank you for watching.